the body, everyone. This is David Zen, an application engineer from WL Gold and Associates. Current LT and LT advanced standards, like I say, performance required to keep up with today's market demand for higher data rate throughput, um, great cell capacity, and more reliability. Therefore, new 5G cellular standards are being developed to achieve the desired performance goals and to coexist with 4G technologies. 5G can adapt millimeter wave such as 28 gigahertz and 38 gigahertz. Sometimes the entire performance of the test system will be determined or limited by the stability of microwave cable assemblies. So engineers need to understand how test assemblies can affect the overall performance of the testing system. Uh, 5G components has a higher frequency and port density compared to 4G due to the millimeter wave and massive memory technology. Well, this is true for 5G final products testing. The microwave industry will most like to utilize the OTA over the air to test the DOTs, which means less space for test assemblies to move. Therefore, test assemblies smaller, lighter, and more flexible to put in cramped spaces. Which, which be, which be, while delivering the reliable performance our head. Remember, you can't trust the performance if you can't trust the results. <coughs> As you know, microwave and RF tested assemblies are subjected to continuous movement and bending during calibration and test the duties. Remember, the size of duty is typically different from the calibration kit. Let's start small by looking at an example of our four port duties. We know from the VA calibration gate that there are at least 15 steps required to perform our four port SOLT calibration when using our mechanical calibration kit. Typically, it takes uh, four to five minutes to complete the calibration with the assemblies moving and flexing many times. And if the phase or amplitude of the test assemblies is not stable, the calibration and test results can be compromised. Now, let's look at characterizing our first set of S parameters on VNS with eight and 32 ports, typically used for application like smart antenna and phase array modules. There are 
31 steps required to perform our eight port calibration that takes about eight to 10 minutes when using our mechanical calibration kit. And more than 100 steps are required to perform our 32 port calibration using the same mechanical calibration kit. However, if you use an electronic calibration kit or GKL on our 32 port VNA, then you need at least 20 to 30 minutes to complete the calibration process. Meanwhile, during the calibration process, the test assemblies are being moved and flexed at your joint screws. Let's say an assembly fails, you can have to verify each assemblies one by one because you don't know which assemblies failed at which steps. Finding that one failed assemblies can take you up to an entire day. How much would it cost you to find and replace that failed assembly and make up for lost throughput? So let's talk about how our new solutions can help. We test the stability of more face flex microwave RF test assemblies at 50 gigahertz in four steps to ensure the assembly is flexed 360 degrees. First, we wrap a section of the cable crosswise around the band and where the stability zip will wrap the thin section of the cable counterclockwise in the opposite direction and wire stability. Next, we noted both cable and connectors by 90 degree, wrap the cable clockwise, counterclockwise, and test the stability again. Finally, we choose the worst result to generate a test report. Results shows that face and amplitude stability of our microwave and test assemblies stable through 50 gigahertz. In addition to stability with flexure, your products may also be used in fluctuating temperatures such as in the desert, slow, wind, and rain. Therefore, you may test your products in temperature chamber during the de design process. Here, you can see the results of phase versus temperature change of course expanded PTFE battery used in the construction of our test assemblies. Notice the phase change dramatically decrease. However, what about the individual phase versus temperature change of our batch of test assemblies in our temperature chamber? Now, let's look at the result of more phase flex microwave RF test assemblies. We guarantee, we guarantee the minimal and maximal phase change versus temperature, which is useful for phase marching in your application. During an accelerate life test for phase flex, microwave RF test assemblies shows no change in performance after 10,000 flex cycles. 
compared to other assemblies that experienced a significant change after only one hundred or three hundred flex cycles. Please stop by our booth 7040, which are the demonstration of our engineers using our flex simulator that we designed to evaluate the durability and stability of our face flex microwave RF test assemblies over time. You can also visit bo.com slash test08 to find, find out more about our new 0 cable that delivers state of performance over time up to 50 gigahertz for high density interconnection and test. You can also uh, visit bo.com slash test to uh, download our data sheet, video, and brochures, and follow us on social media as well to stay up to date on what's happening. Thank you.